What's up everybody, it's Park with BI Elite. In this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to connect to your Microsoft Forms data directly from Power BI. I've seen plenty of tutorials for workarounds on how to do this on YouTube. Some examples of those techniques are downloading the Excel files and publishing them to SharePoint or building your form directly in SharePoint, or you can even use Power Automate in order to uh, push new results up to an Excel file. But I actually found a much easier way that we can connect directly to Microsoft Forms results directly using the web connector in Power BI. I've been trying to figure out a way to do this for years, so I'm happy to share with y'all as well. With that, let's go ahead and jump into it. So quickly, I'm gonna show you my Microsoft Forms setup. I have six forms all related to BI Elite training. This is receiving course feedback for the courses that we have on our platform. I'm gonna focus real quick on the DA100 course feedback survey. Looks like I have 604 responses. So in Power BI Desktop, to connect to Microsoft Forms data, all you have to do is click on Get Data and Web, and we need to just pass in a specific URL. I have that URL in Notepad. So this is the entire URL that you need to pass in. If you wanna download a PBX file with this already baked in, make sure you check out the blog post. The link is down in the description. So as you can see, we're just calling forms.office.com slash form API slash download Excel file. And you see this piece here, form ID equals, that's the only part that we need to populate with our specific form ID. We'll cover this on the end in a second, but I'm just gonna copy that and come back to Power BI Desktop and paste that in the URL. But I do need to find my form ID. So if I come back to Microsoft Forms, I'm gonna click on one of my surveys here. And I can find my form ID easiest if I go to my share, I'm just gonna copy the share link and paste this in. See this form ID is everything after ID. So it starts with QS underscore in my case. I'm gonna copy that, come over to Power BI Desktop, and after form ID equals, I'm gonna paste that in and click okay. And if you're doing this for the first time, it's gonna ask you how you wanna connect or authenticate for forms.office.com. I'm just gonna click on organizational account and sign in as I would on forms.office.com. And once it signs in, I'm just gonna click connect. So as you can see, um, I have to authenticate directly within Power BI. Uh, if I were to call this direct URL directly from the browser, I'm gonna show you what that does. Um, so if I were to grab everything that I passed into the web connector, let me pass that into a browser. Since I'm already authenticated, you can see it just downloads that Excel file. So in Power BI, that's basically what it's doing. It's providing us with an Excel file, which we can right click, turn into an Excel workbook, and here is our data. So we have sheet one or table one. From what I've seen, these are the exact same thing, just with kind of different column headers. So I'm just gonna click on table one, click on table to navigate to it, and here is my data. This is all the data returned from my Microsoft form. It's also live, so when we refresh this, you're gonna get the latest uh, submissions that came in. So that's the entire thing. Now you have your Microsoft Forms data. I'm gonna do a couple extra things since we're already in here. Um, personally, I'm gonna turn this into a function so I don't have to go through all of those steps if I wanna get all six of my forms. I'm just going to duplicate. I'm gonna turn this into a function pretty easily by letting the user pass in a form ID. So I'm gonna call this form as text. And that has made it a function and I'm gonna get rid of the hard-coded form ID. So let me remove that. And I'm going to concatenate that form and quotes. So this is unnecessary for you, but I'm just showing you the quickest way to get all of your forms. And let's return source. And again, if you want this uh, Power BI file with this function already baked in, uh, check out the blog post down below. So now I have my function. I'm gonna call this function get form. And now if I go back to uh, my six forms, let's come over and get another one of my forms. I just ran a form for live trainings um, where you can tell me which live trainings you'd like to see on the training.bi elite platform. Live trainings are coming out soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this to get my form ID. And now let's throw that into our function and invoke. And there you go. There is my table with 104 submissions. I'm gonna quickly call this my live training form and change our first query 
to my DA100 feedback. So with that, uh, I'm gonna leave it there. We've connected to two forms and got some really good data back. Uh, I'm quickly gonna close and apply and show you how great this is that you can visualize your data and kick off a refresh whenever you want. Um, so for my DA100 feedback, uh, just to show you kind of what we're working with here, let's create a quick bar chart. Let's do a clustered column chart, overall course experience in the axis, count of ID and the values. So as you can see, uh, we have some nice feedback data here. Uh, let's also throw in a card. Let's do the most recent completion time. So let's do the latest completion time. And let's also do our count of ID just to show how many uh, submissions we have. So as of right now, we have 604 submissions. The most recent submission was yesterday at 4.18 p.m. So if I were to come in to my form here, my DA100 course form, and let's say that I want to share this with somebody and someone's gonna fill this out. Let's say they give us a five-star experience um, and give them a sample name. So they can submit this, and the moment they submit this, we can kick off a refresh of our data, and we will see that new submission populate in our Power BI file. Yeah, we were most recently completed, just now. We now have 605 submissions. So that's the entire thing here. You can now connect directly to your Microsoft Forms data. Uh, last thing, I guess I should say, because I said I'd come back to it, uh, here in our URL string. So we have a couple of parameters at the very end. Firstly, time zone offset. Basically, this data is gonna be returned in UTC time. I'm on the East Coast of the United States, so I need to set my time zone offset to 240 minutes to make it equal my local time zone. Uh, this will vary for you based on where you're located. So that's an optional parameter, but you do need to have these last two parameters, min response ID and max response ID. So as of my testing, you're only able to get a thousand records back at a time. So if you do have over a thousand form results or form responses, you're gonna need to iterate through in order to kind of paginate and get certain response chunks. I do have a video on how to quickly iterate within Power Query. I will link that down in the description as well. But with that, that is the entire thing. Not too much to show here, just one cool trick to let you get to that data. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's the best way to show your support of the channel and also helps me continue to create Power BI content. If you like the way I explain Power BI concepts, make sure you check out my training over at training.bielite.com. The link is down in the description. And lastly, if you do wanna check out our recent form where you can let me know uh, what live trainings you'd like to see in the near future, check out the description as well. And I will see you in the next video.